Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 65-year-old female with a history of knee pain, and so I want to use this as an example to show you what the meniscus is and what a tear looks like. So the meniscus is a fibrocartilaginous band that goes along the outside of the knee joint and the inside of the knee joint. There's a lateral compartment of the knee and a medial compartment, and there's a meniscus on either side, and the meniscus acts as a shock absorber and also uh, it provides stability, it distributes the stress of the femur on the tibia evenly across a broad area. So on this view we can see the femur up top, this is the lateral condyle rounded, this is the lateral tibial plateau which is flat, the tibia is below, femur is above. We're going to look on this sagittal view, a side view here at the same thing. We're going to the lateral side of the joint to see what this looks like. And the femur again is really rounded appearance, uh, appearing on this one, it looks like a ball and the tibia is flat, like a flat shelf. And that meniscus, again, is this black wedge. It's fibrocartilaginous. It's going to um, act as a shock absorber. And again, you can see how it distributes that weight along the whole area or the whole area that it touches here on the fem femoral and tibial sides. If there were no meniscus here, then the bone would come to a little point right here, and there'd be lots of uh, stress right at that single point. But again, the weight is distributed or stress all along where the meniscus is. So this is a beautiful lateral meniscus. We have three components. We call it the anterior horn. We call the front part and the middle part here in between. We call this the meniscus body. And the back part, the posterior third of it, we call the posterior horn. So we have posterior horn, meniscus body, anterior horn. On this view, we can see the midline cut through the meniscus body. And if we go backwards, we get into the posterior horn, back to the meniscus body, anterior horn. So those are the three components. Again, just a beautiful meniscus here and you can see pretty clearly the problem the medial meniscus is torn so we can see that there's fluid which is white here in the inner margin we should see a little beautiful black triangle but instead we see fluid so the inner half of the meniscus is torn and truncated and there it is that little dark spot that is the meniscus fragment that's torn and displaced outwards and it goes down into this menisco tibial recess we call that the medial collateral ligament is here the meniscus goes out and down deep to the MCL. There's a complex meniscus tear, and it also goes into the back, the posterior horn. So if we look on the lateral side, a nice dark meniscus here in the back posterior horn. On the medial side, it's small and abnormal signal. So a complex tear involving the body and posterior horn. Sometimes with more simple tears, if they're in the right spot, they can suture them back together and they can heal. But often, if there's a complex tear like this, they can't they let it heal completely. They'll have to go in and just remove the pieces that are torn and then smooth out the meniscus and uh, let it give some better stability. You know, right now when there's a displaced meniscus fragment like this and this is rounded, there's very poor contact on the femoral and tibial sides and it doesn't do its job and this can actually increase um, arthritis developing when it's irregular like this. When they take it off and smooth it, um, then it can provide some function. And uh, so that's the, typically the recommendation. And that's it. So meniscus tear on the medial side with displaced meniscus fragment, beautiful lateral meniscus. And this patient also had a couple other things just quickly. They had a bone erosion in the front. This is the kneecap. They also had some edema here. We call this fat pad impingement. So they had uh, pain from the front of the knee here and also pain here on the medial side of the knee from this complex meniscus tear. Thank you very much.